We are at the Las Vegas sign on Las Vegas Boulevard to introduce a video that's taking us to three places. First, here at the Las Vegas sign, then at the Riviera Hotel and Casino, soon to be demolished, and three, to the Lion Habitat Ranch, where new residents are making a visit. Very interesting. The Welcome to Las Vegas sign on Las Vegas Boulevard has been in place since 1959. The designer of the sign is a lady named Betty Willis, who unfortunately died just recently, April 19th, at the age of 91. The sign is probably the most photographed thing in all of Las Vegas. The gentleman in the blue shirt, I believe, is a volunteer. He will take pictures of folks who don't have their own picture taker, and he will accept tips. He loves hands in the air and jumping shots. Clark County in Southern Nevada is in charge of the Las Vegas sign and recently they have made a couple of improvements. One has been the installation of a crosswalk so folks walking to the sign from the north can cross Las Vegas Boulevard safely. The other improvement has been to double the size of the parking lot near the Las Vegas sign. The expanded parking lot is the area down where you can see the bus, it's pretty far away. But when we had just the old parking area, it often was overwhelmed. This is the back entrance of the Riviera Hotel and Casino, a 60-year-old institution in Las Vegas that is scheduled to close at noon on May 4th. That's next week. We're going to join a lot of other visitors and local Las Vegans who are taking one last look at the Riviera. This is the lobby area when you enter from the parking. And we have chandeliers. Hotel registration is really far more crowded than I had anticipated. Anyway, here we are. And I thought the lineup here was for Riviera t-shirts, but actually there's a pool players um, championship here. And they're all lined up for pool players shirts. They may buy a Riviera shirt also. Anyway, it's the American Pool Players Association, and they may be the last big group here at the Riviera. You can see that lots of folks are here for their last look. Riviera entertainers are featured on the wall, and right here we have Liza Minnelli and Milton Berle shop here is called the Java shop and it's packed. This is the Riviera pool area. It is going to be 94 degrees today so it's a perfect day to enjoy the pool. The Riviera shopping area has a tattoo parlor, a kids shop, 20% off folks, and a magic shop and ABC store. You don't grab coffee and a sweet roll out here. You can go into the Banana Leaf Cafe. One of the theaters here is called the Versailles Theater. And here we have the casino. And it too is more crowded than we've noticed. I wonder if a bunch of people are simply going to take casino tokens and take them home. Oh, really? The Riviera Players Club. Kind of late to get a card, but uh, I'm sure they're still giving them out. And maybe it's a souvenir card. Looks as if they are still doing promotions. Somebody's going to win a car. 
it's hard to get a perspective because right across the street from the Riviera is a fence. And <laughs> then there's no place for the cars and me. So here we are. This is the corner of the front of the Riviera. And maybe what is significant is the way the tile is done in front. A long front entrance that will soon be an entrance to, I believe, meeting rooms owned by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. This is the iconic sculpture in the front of the Riviera advertising the show Crazy Girls, which is appearing at the Riviera. The sign says, no ifs and or and here's one lady making sure she has one last picture it's 11 o'clock in the morning and the bar is full i'm sure they're serving coffee this the folks come into the riviera convention center for the APA, American Pool Players Association, National Championships. Wow, look at all of this. I'm at the back of the ballroom and you can see just how many pool tables are here. Room for spectators. More areas and these folks are all lined up. Many for the mini tournaments. And some of the folks here are shopping. They're watching, they're playing, they love their pool. P.S. The CPA, Canadian Pool Players Association, is here also. I'm on St. Rose Parkway, headed toward the Lion Habitat Ranch, one of my favorite places. There are new residents there. A giraffe, the only one in Nevada, and lion cubs. When you see this sign, you are almost at the ranch and you will turn into the parking area. There is a fee to tour the ranch. For adults, it is $25. This is a not-for-profit organization, so your admission goes to support what's going on at the ranch. Adults $25 unless you are a local, a senior, military, etc. and the admission is $20 for adults. Children under 14 are free with each adult. Extra children $10, families $60 or local families $50. The hours are important. You can't just decide to drive up to the ranch and go in. You must go on the hours that is open, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. You will get an up-close look at magnificent animals. I'm not sure, but I think there are more ostriches than I remember. I thought there were two before, and it looks like there are four big birds. It's a windy day and I hope the wind doesn't make too much of an appearance in the audio. Oh, there we go. Are <laughs> The question was, are you guys scared? I think he's more interested in the car than the lion. Ah, listen. I'm amazed at that tongue. <laughs> yeah, that's I have cool. black color is actually so it doesn't get sunburned since they stick it out all day long and you'll <laughs> on it. 
And does this uh, animal have a name? Yeah, his name is Ozzy. It was supposed to be Oz, like the Wizard of Oz, since he came from Kansas, and then we found it didn't quite suit his face yet. So we're thinking maybe that's more of an adult giraffe name, and once he's all grown up, it'll fit a little better. Okay. Well, Ozzy, you're adorable. Hi, you can take a break from the lettuce for a second. You're adorable. When I was here the last time, these lions were little lion cubs playing. Oh! <laughs> this was a trainer oh, that was in with them. because Keith Evans, who owns the habitat, is here for the feeding at 12.30. And who doesn't like treats? I believe that's his wife, too. Well, he knows the spiel, doesn't he? does everything. This is the only view we could get of the lion cubs. Every week they'll get bigger and they will be out here frolicking, so come see them. This is the mama. Maybe if she comes out, the babies might. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Perfect. 
we waited and she's not yet a month old. That's why they don't come out. Or the dumb one. No, it's part of the one being the dominant. Good thing there are no Jimmy Choo shoes around. Having seen the giraffe and the darling lion cubs, my visit is complete. So, goodbye ostriches and your long necks. I'll be back soon.